the heart of Ireland lies a magical realm where autumn paints the landscape in hues of red, gold and orange. En route, unexpected rainbows danced across the sky, a prelude to the breathtaking beauty that awaits. Join me on a photographic journey through Killarney National Park. The newly opened bypass shortened my journey quite a lot and paves the way to an adventure made faster and more exciting. Armed with the groundbreaking Nikon Z8, I captured the essence of autumn in Killarney, its vibrant avenues drenched in golden colours and the dance of light and nature. This is more than a trip, it's a tale of autumnal wonder, froze in each click of the shutter. Join me on a photographic adventure to Killarney National Park. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog and today you join me I'm in the stunning Killarney National Park and I've come for just a walk around really because the conditions today are absolutely ideal. Behind me here you have Muckris Abbey and as you can see now the light is just coming out and it actually does seem to be dancing quite a lot. Now I came here because I wanted to see if I could get some autumn colours, it does seem to be in bloom here. The conditions like I said are perfect because there's some pretty moody clouds but then the sun is dancing in and out and there's also rain showers. So there's a chance that I will get some rainbows as well actually during the day but I came down here as well because I have a new toy. So I have the Nikon Z8. So Nikon UK reached out to me and asked me did I want to give it a go, see what it was like. I've never really shot on that camera before so I said why not and it has been pretty impressive uh, so far. It's something that I never thought I'd actually utilize because I'm a Canon user through and through. However, using this Nikon there's a number of things which really impressed me. I got two lenses to use with it. I got the 70-200 which is on the camera at the moment and I also got the uh, 14 to 24 which is the wide angle equivalent to my 16 to 35. So far they've been exceptionally good. The quality from them is exceptional. The detail on that sensor, I think it's 61 megapixel uh, image as well, was absolutely phenomenal. Very very similar for me to use in my Canon. However I did notice that everything is backwards so everything that I normally do on my Canon twisting on lenses or taking off lens caps is backwards for a Nikon but that's a by the by. Um, so yeah this isn't about uh, using this camera this is about getting here for some autumn colors so I've taken a couple of shots as I was walking in here I'll give you a look at those now and then we're going to continue on here through the stunning national park and see what the day brings. <music> Coming down now to the stunning avenue, you can see here this tree-lined avenue and there's some beautiful colours, some real oaks as well, but also as you can probably just see up at the top here now, a horse and cart as well has just come down and I got a shot of that I think, which adds a nice bit of texture and depth and authenticity to the image, but the colours here are absolutely beautiful. I've got the camera here behind me, I'm on my uh, long lens, put it on the tripod. I did take a shot at the wide angle but I just preferred the, um, the shot when it was with the compression uh, on the scene but yeah settings in on that I think we're at f8 1 60th of a second ISO is at 100 but still beautiful here. I'm going to wait to see if I get a bit of light because if light comes on this it's really going to jump so yeah I'm going to wait now. If I get the light I'll give you a look at that shot as well. If not I'll give you a look at the shot I just took here now. Let's see. Now after 
you're getting a nice burst and blush of light there. It's raining uh, all around me at the moment, so I'm now underneath this tree. But have a look at this tree here. This is a stunning specimen of a tree. Um, I think it may be dead, but I'm going to try and get a shot of it anyway while I'm here because it kind of would be rude not to. But there's a pathway that's running next to it, which I think will work probably better as a leading line rather than this uh, road that we have here. But some of the textures on that tree are absolutely stunning. It's a tree I think that you know my good friend Mally Davis would absolutely love. But yeah. I'm going to try and get that shot anyway, see how I get on, and hopefully then it stops raining and the light returns soon. As I'm walking around the park, I've come along this avenue here behind me and it's absolutely stunning. Look at the colors that are around me here. Now, what I'm waiting for is light. The clouds that are there, I do think that they're gonna be a gap. I'm hopeful anyway, that if the light does come, all this is just going to glow. I've taken a shot anyway, just to be on the safe side, but if the light comes, I'm gonna take that shot as well. So yeah, it definitely is a case of chasing the light here in Killarney National Park this morning. As I was walking along here, the light really stopped me in my tracks and I spotted behind me here a beautiful scene with lots of different layering and then the sun was coming through the canopy above with a slight blush of orange. So what I've done is I've put the camera really down low here uh, on this bank and I've got one singular fern as well uh, which was being caught nicely by the sun. And I put it on f16 as well because that will give you a sunburst and then what I also did was I did multiple different positions for focus, so focus stacking, to make sure I got everything close in front of me, uh, sharp, and then obviously out into the distance as well. But yeah, I think here is stunning. Like even if we're coming along to this area here, this is the fern that I was talking about here, which is fantastic when it was being hit by the light. And then coming along, we've got different layering upon layering upon layering with some really moss covered areas as well. So it looks absolutely fantastic. So that's the next shot that I've taken from here. Anyway, the light has gone, but it is coming in and out, in and out. So again, we're still chasing the light in Killarney, but it's been fun so far. And what a stunning place this is in full bloom. It's absolutely gorgeous. So here's this shot anyway here, and then we'll see what else I find next.
I've just been wandering around there and just seeing what I can discover. The colour is incredible everywhere, but it is difficult at times as well to be able to find a nice composition because there's so many trees, so many different types of colours, and it just looks like a bunch of trees. But I've come into an old yew tree forest here now, um, or yew tree wood, and behind me here you can just see a bright area, and the bright area is catching this tree that's completely bright in yellow. And then just below me here you have this fallen trunk of a tree which kind of has an archway in it so I'm using that to frame the bottom of the uh, the frame and then the scene itself then I think will be balanced nicely there's a tree on either side as well and I have to be careful as well to not overexpose I'm very dark in here but obviously I'm exposing for the highlights and then I'm taking a couple of shots as well to focus stack and also to exposure blend as well just to make sure I get the shot right the day has been quite interesting actually using the Nikon um, it's a very straightforward uh, user interface. I've enjoyed using it. Hopefully the images now will well have turned out. finish up this episode thank you very much as always for joining me the light is going to change now so any light that i have is going to disappear so if it's your first time on the channel please consider hitting the subscribe button give me a like give me a comment and if you want to watch another episode i recommend this video here and until the next time schlange